Welcome to my introductory video to my new series exploring NIMS standard library, in which with the knowledge taught in NIMS for beginners series, I will teach you about various modules contained within NIMS standard library, their use cases, and make simple programs demonstrating what they can be used for. This series episodes will be in no particular order. All of them will be taught in the same manner as in my NIMS for beginners series, so nothing will be left unexplained. The only prerequisite is that you have watched or have the knowledge up to number 21 video, making your own modules. There might be some exceptions down the line where you will need to know more, but I will tell you about them in such videos. To go and watch that particular video or more before continuing. In this video, I will teach you how to navigate through NIMS standard library and quickly go through some of the modules and what they are useful for, all of which can be viewed with its documentation on this website's address. The link will be in the description. Over here, we have the search box to search for specific procedures, macros, templates. Over here, we have all the libraries categorized into pure libraries, impure libraries, and wrappers. Pure libraries are libraries completely written in NIM code. Impure libraries are also written in NIM code, but depend on external libraries such as DLLs written in other programming languages. And wrappers provide low-level access to C programming languages libraries, it being the easiest to interface access with NIM. Wrappers require more in-depth knowledge of NIM as accessing them is different than with pure and impure libraries. So we will cover them last. Over here we have the automatic imports system being implicitly imported by the compiler in every single program. Here we have core libraries within pure libraries, which is basically a more advanced library of the system library. Then we have the algorithms one, collections, which contains tables, lists, and sets, which we have used before. String handling, from which we use the strutals for parsing strings, etc. Time handling, generic operating system services, math libraries, internet, threading, parsers, XML, and so on. Okay, let's go back to the top and pick a library, let's say tables. Over here, with every library, we will have the description over here. Here are some side notes it has. Then over here, under basic usage, it shows examples how to use. Here's for a normal table, an ordered one, and a count table one. Here on the left are the things we can search for, such as procedures, constants, its types that it has, all of them, and iterators, as well as templates and maybe macros if it has them. I will explain those in a later video. Let's go back to the top. To go back to the front page, over here you have the, a link, standard library. You click it and you go back. Okay, let's say that we wanted to find out more procedures to manipulate files, such as open that we have used before. We could search for that with this search box. Okay, let's type open. Here we go. It found it in IO module, which is a sub module of the system module. Here we go. It found our procedure that we used before open. And here we have other procedures that deal with manipulating files, such as set file position. So we can set it to some other line to write or read from, get which position you're at, reading from file, write to a file, read lines, etc. Once you're within a module, you can also search for specific procedures using the control F shortcut. Here it opens a box and you can Type open and it will find it either here or over here. Okay, that's it for this video. In the next one, we will begin exploring the standard library. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe if you liked it. You can also support me on Patreon. Have fun.